Lost Spring Stories of Stolen Childhood written by Anise Chung This is a chapter from the book Flamingo of class 12th CBSC Here I present a short recap of the chapter The content of this video will first have some information about the author Anis Jung then we discuss the theme of the chapter I will give you the story capsule we will then peep into the world of Sahib and Mukesh we will take a tour into the world of Seema Puri and Firozabad Bangle factory we will ponder over the paradoxes of the society and finally we will discuss the significance of the title lost spring Anise Jung was born in 1944 she is an indian woman writer journalist and a columnist for major newspapers in india and abroad she was born in hyderabad and received education in hyderabad and in the united states her parents were renowned poets she has written several books such as unveiling india night of the new moon seven sisters and breaking the silence the following is an excerpt from her book lost spring here she analyzes the grinding poverty and traditions which condemn these children to a life of exploitation let us know the theme of the story in this story the author unveils the utter destitution of the rag pickers of Seema Puri and the bangle makers of Firozabad this story describes the grinding poverty and traditions that compel the children to live a life of exploitation in the story the author brings out the depravity of child labor childhood is considered as spring of human life full of joy pleasure and play but ironically millions of children like Saheb and Mukesh have lost their spring their childhood by getting engaged in making a living let us now have the story capsule Anis Jung in her story Lost Spring analyzes poverty and its effect on children street children or the rag pickers of Seema Puri are forced to either rely on the garbage for their livelihood or work as laborers these children live in a condition of extreme exploitation throughout their lives due to their poverty similar is the situation of children from the bangle making families of Firozabad here the children are forced to accept bangle making as their doom due to poverty and family tradition the author has also given a story of resistance and fortitude in spite of harsh conditions of poverty and exploitation there are children like Mukesh who have refused to accept their fate they have their ambition to do something different and better the author stresses the need to aspire for betterment no doubt for this one needs to be daring confident diligent and hard working let's now peep into the life of these rat pickers in Seema Puri Sahib the son of a migrant family from Dhaka is a rat picker who lives in Seema Puri at the periphery of Delhi and goes about barefoot rummaging around in the heaps of garbage to earn his livelihood 
For the children, like Sahib, a heap of garbage is like a gold mine. Thousands of such children live with their families in Simapuri. They live in a slum with not even the basic amenities such as water and sanitation available to them. These families are living in utter poverty. The children have nothing to do except rag picking through which they earn something to eat at least. Garbage to the elders is a means of survival. But for these children, it is a magical wonder. In order to earn better, Sahib starts working at a tea stall where he is paid 800 rupees per month. But it seems he, after this, loses his carefreeness. He works for someone else and is no longer his own master. This loss of identity weighs heavily on his tender shoulders. Anis Chung then tells about Mukesh, another young boy who wants to be his own master. He is a boy from Firozabad's glass industry and as a family tradition, he has always worked in the glass bangle factory. Here, the children work in close proximity of furnaces in such high temperatures that they are exposed to various health hazards, even losing their eyesight. Mukesh's family, like other families of Firozabad, are victims of poverty. His father is blind and they live in a small half-constructed house. These people of Firozabad are exploited by the sahukas, the middlemen, the policemen, the bureaucrats and the politicians. But Mukesh is different and confident. He wants to be a motor mechanic. Life for these poor children is full of paradoxes. Lost Spring is a vivid description of the grinding poverty and tradition that condemn the children in our country to a life of poverty and exploitation. Sahib, a small boy who is a rag picker and relies on garbage for his living, seems to be very enthusiastic about going to school. But he never gets this opportunity and his entire childhood is lost in solving the greatest problem of his life, that is, to earn a meal. He has to compromise with his freedom and joy of childhood and work at a tea stall to earn money. Mukesh, who was born into a bangle maker's family of Firozabad, wants to be a motor mechanic. He works in the most hazardous conditions in the glass furnace with high temperature and no lights. People of his community are caught in the vicious circle of sahukars, middlemen, policemen, bureaucrats and politicians. Mukesh wants to be his own master and do something different. The story very clearly describes the reality of our society. Let us now justify the title of the story. Childhood is considered the spring of human life. It is full of exuberance and playfulness. But the children of rag pickers of Simapuri and bangle makers of Firozabad are deprived of this period of their life. They never enjoy the carefreeness of their childhood. They have to assist their poor parents in earning their living since the very tender age. In fact, this story brings out the reality of our society where poor children work as rag pickers and bangle makers in inhuman and hazardous conditions. The plight of these children highlights the apathy of the rich and powerful people of the society who have no concern for them. Lost Spring refers to those moments of childhood which should be full of happiness, growth and carefree spirit 
and which have been snatched from the children of Seema Puri and Firozabad. The title Lost Spring justifies the story which sensitizes the people towards the, these poor children. It emphasizes the need to save the childhood of these poor children and provide them with their basic rights of a decent life and good education. That's all. I hope the video helped you to revise your lesson. Thank you. Happy reading. Bye-bye.